is called The Embrace, an appropriate name. So goes from a little climb. You can either start into this one from a climb or from a pulse it. It works on spin. It works on static. Let's talk about arm positioning before we take it up in the air. So for this one, it's going to be in both elbow pits, but really it's your top elbow pit that ends up carrying the brunt of it, okay? So you're going to place one elbow to the pole and then the other elbow underneath it or on top of it. I find it's much easier to place the second elbow below, okay? Before you take it up too, I would try, see which feels more comfortable to you. Um, sometimes we have a stronger shoulder, sometimes we have better rotation, but see which feels better to have your left over right, your right over left, whichever it is. I've also found when you go into this, how much you're, you know, hugging yourself does make this move more secure, okay? Because you are kind of holding on tight enough to yourself that it keeps you on the pole, is sort out where your hand goes beforehand. Um, I find that the first arm that goes on, I feel most comfortable if I grab my shoulder. The second one, I'm gonna come underneath and grab, okay? So like I said, kind of play around with that. Otherwise, I find sometimes if I place the bottom elbow first and then try to come around with the other one on top, it puts me in a funky position. But if I grab with my top elbow first and then bring my bottom one down. Let's talk about boobs, okay? Whether you have them, whether you don't have them, this move shouldn't get in the way. Of course, there are exceptions. Our bodies are all different, but it's not grabbing across your boob area. It actually is going up a little bit higher. So those of you that are maybe slightly more endowed in this area, I know sometimes the girls can get in the way. So with this one, you actually are bringing your arm over the top, which kind of evens the playing field a little bit, okay? Contact points. Our elbow is touching. Our stomach is touching, okay? So if you do have your stomach covered on this one, it is gonna make it a little bit more challenging. If you have a little bit of a contact point, some skin here, it will make this move more easily done, okay? So to get into this, I would take it even just a baby climb up or else from a pole sit. Go high enough that you can bring your legs off relatively straight. Now, sometimes when we're getting to move for the first time, we're like, I wanna really wanna start really low so that I make sure I feel comfortable first. This high of a climb doesn't have to be a very big climb, but the reason I want you to go up a little bit is part of the what makes these elbows work to hold us in place is that we sink our weight down. If you go from the floor and you just place your elbow, you're going to feel like you're sliding excessively because you are, okay? But if you think of instead dropping down into this move, it's as you drop down that it's really going to catch that elbow, okay? So like I said, you can do this one on spin or static. You can either go from a climb or from a sit, basically anywhere where your pelvis or your pubic bone is close to the pole, okay? So my pole is on spin mode, but I'm going to step up initially on, on step up without making it spin, it'll probably rotate a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna bring my chest to the pole, I'm going to hook my first elbow, then my second elbow, give myself a hug, and then I'm gonna squeeze my bootay to bring my legs off. You can passe, both legs straight, bent, whichever, rehook back into either a climb or a pole sit when you come out. I will say, if you are going to do this move on spin, Something to keep in mind is when we come closer to our pole on spin, remember, it goes a lot faster, okay? So if you're going into this and your spin feels like it's, you know, okay as you're climbing, when we're climbing, sometimes our hips are a little bit away, but then when you bring your hips in to try and get into this position, it might be a little bit difficult to bring your arms around because your pole will start going excessively faster. So either A, put this farther in your combo when your spin is slowed down, or Make sure you don't spin too fast at the beginning, okay? So that first one I went into from a climb. Now I'm gonna go into it from a pulse it with a little bit of spin. And you can get into it, pulse it on spin or static, climb on spin or stat static. It's not like one entry works better with one, okay? I do find though, if for some reason you are doing it on spin, if you go from a pulse it, remember your legs are more extended, which is going to slow your spin down, okay? So it might make it a little bit easier to get your arms into this position to make sure you're not spinning too fast versus if we're in a climb, sometimes the pole gets going a little bit fast, okay? So I'm gonna take it baby climb up, okay? Taking it into a little spin up into a pulse it. I'm gonna hook an elbow. Hook an elbow, give myself a big hug, squeeze my bootay, 
so my legs come off to give the pole and myself a big embrace. Rehook the legs. You can leave that elbow on if you want to as you bring it out. So that is the embrace. Try it out, try it on spin, try it on static, try putting it together with some of your favorite moves, make some fun shapesies with it.